so I think we are going to probably start up something very shortly between Russia and ourselves maybe to start off, and I think China will be added down the road. We'll be talking about non-proliferation, we'll be talking about a nuclear deal of some kind, and I think it'll be a very comprehensive one, he said. It also includes extensive transparency measures requiring each side to allow the other to carry out 10 inspections of strategic nuclear bases each year, give 48 hours notice before new missiles covered by the treaty leave their factories, and provide notifications before ballistic missile launches. Trump has called the New START treaty concluded by his predecessor, Barack Obama, a bad deal and one-sided. The Kremlin said the two sides confirmed they intended to activate dialogue in various spheres, including strategic security. The two men, who last chatted informally at a dinner of world leaders in Buenos Aires on December 1, briefly talked about the report by U.S. Special Counsel Robert Mueller that concluded Trump did not collude with Russia during his 2016 presidential campaign. Putin seemed amused, said Trump. He said something to the effect that it started off as a mountain, and it ended up being a mouse. But he knew that because he knew there was no collusion whatsoever. Pretty much that's what it was, he said. The Kremlin said the call was initiated by Washington. It said the two leaders agreed to maintain contacts on different levels and expressed satisfaction with the businesslike and constructive nature of the conversation. With the United States concerned about a Russian military presence in Venezuela at a time when Washington wants Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro to leave power, Trump told Putin the United States stands with the people of Venezuela and stressed he wanted to get relief supplies into the country, White House spokeswoman Sarah Sanders said. Putin told Trump that any external interference in Venezuela's internal business undermines the prospects of a political end to the crisis, the Kremlin said. The two leaders discussed Ukraine. Trump cancelled a summit meeting with Putin late last year after Russia seized three Ukrainian Navy ships on November 25 and arrested 24 sailors. Putin also told Trump that the new leadership in Ukraine should take steps to solve the Ukrainian crisis, the Kremlin said. Sanders said Trump mentioned several times the need and importance of Russia stepping up and continuing to put pressure on North Korea to denuclearize. The Kremlin said both leaders highlighted the need to pursue denuclearization of the region.